Welcome to another episode of What's New in Cabinet Vision version 8. In this video, we will be looking over the new features in the Report Center and the user created standards. The first thing I want to cover is in the Report Center, so let me fast forward to a job. Now that we're in a job, we need to click on the Reports tab and then click on the Report Center button. This has brought us to the Report Center. The new feature that we've been working on has to do with an improved filter interface, so I'm going to click on the Filter button to show that to you. With the filter open, you can see the first new feature, which is the Invert Selection button. Clicking this button will uncheck all checked items, as well as checking all unchecked items. Now, I have clicked on the Invert Selection button to illustrate what this does. Another little enhancement you should notice is that the parent objects, such as the Room 1 item, won't collapse when the child items are all unchecked. Additionally, you can move through the list of items with your keyboard arrows and press the space button to check or uncheck the items. Next, we're going to go over the new features of the user created standards. The first new feature is the ability to process variables during condition evaluation. Now, what does that mean? Well, let's take a sample UCS and figure that out. The first thing we will look at is the for each statement. This line is telling us that the UCS should only apply to AS, or adjustable shelf, parts. Next, we're going to look at the variable declarations. In this UCS, we are creating two variables here, underscore count and underscore name. Underscore count is a generic variable that can hold any data type we place in it, while the underscore name variable is a text variable. Next, let's look at the while loop. This is where the new feature comes into play. The loop is looking to the cabinet's interior adjustable shelf parts width found in the object tree in a specified order. Now you may be wondering how I got all that information from what's here. Well, let me take a moment to explain it. The breakdown of the path that's given here is as follows. Cabinet, interior, adjustable shelf, in a specific ordered place in the object tree, and finally, part width. Now, you should have noticed that when I got to the adjustable shelf part of that equation, we saw our underscore name variable. And when we got to the specified order part, we saw our underscore count variable. What Cabinet Vision does, starting with version 8, is take any variable that is surrounded in curly brackets, like the variables in the path, and process them to see what the intended value should be before using the path. You can use this method of processing variables in many ways, and this was just a simple example. As a matter of fact, you can see in this very example that we use this functionality in an if-then statement as well. The final new feature is a set of new variables that can be used in a user-created standard. Going through these variables individually is a bit outside the scope of this video. You can, however, find out about what they do in your help files, though. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video on the new features of Cabinet Vision. We hope you enjoyed it, and as always, if you want more information on Cabinet Vision Solid, please visit our website at www.cabinetvision.com.